mission of the Tata Institute for Genetics and Society, otherwise known as TIGS, is really to research training and capacity building and to try and use genetic technologies to really transform healthcare security and food security in India. The TIGS program is a unique program that brings experts from different fields like molecular biology, entomology, public health, community engagement, and all of these actually makes TIGS program stand different from all the rest of the traditional postdoctoral programs. We have scientists who are coming from a in India and they come here to UC campuses to get trained. They would be here for about two years, and then their job is to go back and transfer this technology back to India, where they can really use this to tackle national problems, which are also global problems that really impact the entire planet. The Tata Institute takes genetics, molecular biology, and state-of-the-art utilization of that molecular biology to answer some really critical questions. In 2016, this was just an idea. It was on paper. And now pretty much every element of what we imagine might be possible has been shown to, to be possible. We have our annual scientific advisory board meeting. We have an international team of advisors that oversees the science and sets future directions for both TIGS India and TIGS at UC San Diego. We have this partnership with TIGS India as well as investigators at Amrita University in Kerala, India. And so there is a clear emphasis on things relevant to India, but once these things have been applied to those problems, first of all, some of those problems are problems that are worldwide, but the development of these tools to attack those problems are going to be generally applicable to many other diseases. And when we bring these different perspectives together, that's how we can break outside of the box uh, that is really hampering uh, innovation. I see all of the different technologies that are being developed in the fruit fly and in various species of mosquitoes, what we're doing in mammals, what others are doing in plants, some of the work in bacteria, and having the synergy of all of these different systems come together really accelerates the pace of research in each of those individual tracks. Another element of that is training in sort of the ethical and social issues of it. And there are whole courses that have been taught on that. Yeah, my interactions with the Tata Institute for Genetics and Society have been wonderful. They've helped us kickstart the Institute for Practical Ethics. And so we look at all the different sort of ethical issues that arise, and we've hired a team of ethicists and social scientists to help. And we've been able to kickstart really a, a whole program on this topic. This really is a unique opportunity for our visiting scholars to take visionary philanthropy, couple this with outstanding science, all for the service of humanity. And this comes back full circle to the legacy of the Tata Trust because this is what they've been doing for 125 years. What's exciting is what's going to be helping people, but it certainly is exhilarating to see these clever minds that were thinking about new ways to employ genetics for people's benefit. In this sense, the capacity building is an essential part of the success of this enterprise. And we also will have long-term relationships between UC San Diego and Diggs India. I'm really looking forward with all the training that I have got here to go back to my country and do some high quality research there. This is a unique enterprise. I don't know any other institution in the world that really brings all of these multiple disciplines together. This, I think, is really the model for the future to develop socially responsible science. And I'm glad that Diggs is at the center of creating a new type of interdisciplinary culture that we hope pervades the rest of the campus.